Hey YouTubers, so I really don't necessarily want to say that this is a new series that I'm going to be putting on my channel because honestly I have a whole lot of series that I'm already doing on my channel and I want to be able to put certain things out with certain frequencies and with my three videos a week uploading schedule I'm just never really actually going to get that done to any like degree that I really want to. So with that being said, let's just call this kind of part of the pitch reel and just be done with it. So anyway, what is this all about? Well, I actually really had this idea to do basically like maybe a top five or top 10 list of like different subplots that Dragon Ball Super could have done throughout its entire run so far. And basically just talk about certain things they could have done separately to like Goku and Vegeta, which is basically the Goku and Vegeta show, right? So like, what are the characters they could have focused on in some subplots that really kind of help advance the story in one way or the other? And if you really don't know, subplots are basically like secondary stories that play into the background of the main story. Usually with side characters, someone like Dragon Ball Z would be like Goten and Trunks, which we're going to be talking about today. But basically for real example, you would have like something in the Dragon Ball Super manga where you had Vados and Shappa just basically going around and looking for the Super Dragon Balls in the first couple chapters of the manga until they basically ran into the whole Frieza army and basically somewhat quote unquote caused the resurrection of F Saga and everything. It basically was this thing going on in the background that kind of just like kind of pivoted into the next arc of Dragon Ball Super. And, and honestly, when you're watching television, that's what you're really kind of looking for, right? Like you're looking for one story to kind of go into another and you usually use subplots to kind of start building things in the background that ultimately lead to something even bigger and better than what was happening in the you know to begin with because with Dragon Ball Z you had Raditz there but when he actually kind of was introduced he kind of mentioned that there were other Saiyans and that they did like this job and then when Vegeta and Nappa came out it was kind of a little bit more apparent that they worked for a bigger organization and all this stuff which led into the whole Namekian saga and the fight with Frieza which kind of you know just pivoted into other things there's all this stuff that's going on in the background that's kind of helping explain or kind of introduce things that are going to be more important or more relevant in the future so those are really cool concepts but i haven't necessarily seen dragon ball super actually do anything it's been like you know all the subplots have been something like just for blatant fun they're not really setting anything up so what would be something that would be really cool to throw in there that would actually kind of not only just help the story but would have helped like kind of break tension or allowed the show to be a little bit more dark instead of actually putting jokes in more tense situations and honestly while i have ideas that would start before this particular arc of dragon ball super i just kind of wanted to start here because i realized that with my like love for goten and all this like this is probably the thing that I really wanted to start talking about immediately so well, what do I mean by that well I've really long since argued that Goten has been completely wasted in this series so far and while Trunks has actually recently gotten a bit of his due that really doesn't excuse the fact that both of these characters were completely wasted in the Fukatsu no F arc but basically with Goku and Vegeta out training with Whis at the beginning of that arc those two were among the strongest on earth and when Frieza came down they should have been on the front lines fighting with everyone else because not only are they very curious kids but they are two of the strongest people and if they fuse they are the strongest people on earth at that point like no one else could really step up and fight to Frieza in the same way because obviously Gohan has let himself slip at this point so there's just so much going on that's completely wrong with the way they portrayed Goten and Trunks during that saga so how would I make it better how would would you kind of take this and kind of rework it into a way where you're giving Trunks and Goten their due in more of a comedic sense and also allowing the Katsuno F arc because that comedic sense is going on in the background and that, that basically relief of the, like all the tension that's building up you can basically make the whole Frieza fight a little bit more darker is I would just send them to space like honestly I feel like I would just send Goten and Trunks to space and what do I mean by that well I feel like it was episode and Excuse me if I'm mistaken, it was like 19 or 20, some episode like that where we saw Goten and Trunks actually like playing around with Jocko, like when they met Jocko and they were playing around with his spaceship and they're like, oh my god, like, what is this guy doing? Like, holy shit, like, oh man, cool spaceship, blah, blah, blah. You know, these are two kids like having a whole lot of fun and adventure and they're in the spaceship in that episode while Bulma and Jocko are talking about Frieza company. Now, these guys have never met Frieza. They probably know about him from stories. I mean, that was kind of alluded to that they really didn't know who Frieza was at some point because like they had no idea like no one's told these guys stories what's going on there I mean obviously I feel like especially Trunks or even Goten would want to talk to Goku Vegeta or Gohan 
about like what was going on before they were born because obviously there's a lot of stories to be told there but who cares anyway so they're in this spaceship while Gul Bulma and Jocko are talking and Jocko's just like look Freeze is coming I'm completely out I'm gone I'm just I'm leaving and B Bulma's like well you know you gotta stay and fight why did you come, come and help you can stay and fight you can help us and instead of Bulma like corralling him at that exact moment he's like no 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 Freeze is gonna give me the hands and he actually gets into his spaceship and when Goten and Trunks are actually in that spaceship still and he leaves and he takes them with him and like they're just like they get freaked out and all this and like basically Bulma has to get to the fight the same way that she gets to the fight in all of the android and cell arcs and all this stuff she has to kind of take one of her mini vehicles there and it's not really a big deal and she doesn't have to be with Jocko because Jocko's off in space with Goten and Trunks at this point and they're like freaking out it's like oh my god we didn't really want to go to space this is a little bit more real than we wanted to so like they start messing with the controls they're trying to get back home and Jocko's just like no don't touch that don't touch that don't touch that and then like before they know it like this blinding ray of light just comes like past them and like basically hits the ship brings it super off course and they crash land on an alien planet and then like Trunks and Goten have to use their strength to actually protect Jocko as he's trying to prepare the ship so they can all go back home and basically be there for the fight with Frieza and also that blinding ray of light could be like a really nice nod to Vados and Shampa actually going around and basically looking for the Super Dragon Ball something we saw them do in episode 17 and if I don't rem you know if I'm actually remembering it must have been episode 20 or something that they actually started doing this and showing these guys be in this particular situation so you know I just feel like that would have been a proper introduction it would have helped explain exactly why they weren't there for the fight and when they get there basically Goku and Vegeta are already fighting Frieza and there's really no point for them to step in anyway and they could have the same comedic moments that they basically did with Jocko and basically taking a fit picture of Frieza and taking a picture of Beerus and all that stuff they're not necessarily sacrificing anything while they're also having this really nice kind of you know this really kind of nice subplot going on there that's actually really lighthearted, while all this other stuff is going on that kind of could have padded out that entire arc a little bit more and made it a little bit more original a little bit more whole while also explaining the biggest plot hole of them not actually being in the fight to begin with because they were out in space doing all this other shit so Tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. I really kind of do like that idea. I kind of feel like it would be a lot of fun, especially, you know, guys, you know me. I want to see Goten be a little bit more involved in this show, even if it is just kind of like subplots or, or Goten and Trunks just basically going around and just like, you know, fucking around over here while all the other main shit's going on. Like, I wouldn't be, I would be completely okay with that. Stuff like the first episode is some of my favorite stuff in the entire series. So anyway... Tell me what you think of this new kind of mini-series. Do you want to hear more of my ideas for different subplots and how it could have helped Dragon Ball Super going forward? I have a whole lot of them, so if you guys want to see more of this stuff, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. Tell me if you want to see more. Go check out more of the Pitch Reel videos. I really like doing those things. They're one of my favorite things on here to do because I can talk about things a little bit more than just Dragon Ball, but I do like to kind of bring it back to Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball, let's all face it, we can all kind of pitch better, you know, movies or te television shows or just story plots or something. And plus the real theories, I like to do that too. Basically Dragon Ball, I'm gonna start branching out into more stuff anyway. Open questions, I'll ask y'all guys questions about stuff I wanna do. We just have, we do a lot of stuff in this in this entire channel so we do a whole lot of stuff if you want to see any of that we have a whole lot of fun make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out more of my stuff later anyway guys i will talk to you guys in the next video